Hi, this is a video about how to play Battleship on paper, as we used to do it in the 50s. You might ask, why play it on paper when you have uh, plastic board versions and you have even electronic versions? Well, on paper you can play three, four, or even more people at one time, whereas you're, the other versions you're limited to two players. I'll show how the paper version allows for more strategy and more thinking. We played the, the salvo version of Battleship where each player fires all his shots at one time and we used a version where you had seven shots. Then the opponents announce where they've been hit or if they've been hit. The older boys found it was pretty easy to finish off the other opponent's ships when they, once they'd been hit. So they developed a little bit uh, more complicated version, which I'll go into later. I'll explain how to set up the paper version and, and also how we played the standard version of on paper before we started modifying it. Okay, first thing you do is get some quarter inch grid paper and draw these coordinates on it. 1 through 10 on the sides and A through J on the top. That way you, each square has a coordinate that you can fire on. One standard sheet of grid paper you can get nine separate playing squares. And you only have to draw this up one time. Then you scan it and put it in your computer and then you can print out fresh ones as you use them up. Okay, the next thing you would do would make the first square would be your, your playing square where you would draw your ships on. And then if you have one opponent, you put his name over here, and that is where you record where you're firing on his ships. And if you have two opponents, you put another name there, and three opponents, another name there. This was the layout that we used. You can use anything you want, but this is what we did. You had one battleship, which had five squares, and it had three shots that it could take. You had one cruiser that had four squares, and that has two shots that it can take. And then you had two destroyers that were three squares each, and they each have one shot. And if you lose a ship where all squares have been hit, then that ship is sunk and you lose the shots from that ship. Okay, this would be the layout for the standard game as we first started to play it. Ships can only go horizontal or vertical. And you can see from that, once you've been hit, or once you hit an enemy ship, then you know there's only four positions he could be in. Here, or here, or here, or here. When we play later, we said you could go diagonal, you could do anything you want. So if you can go any of these squares, that would be eight other squares that you could possibly be in. So it makes it harder to find the enemy's ships. Okay, here's a typical layout where the ships as long as they touch, this would be a cruiser, four squares. As long as they're touching, you can use any position you want. This could be a battleship. This is five squares. So any position you want, you can use. When you draw your ships in, don't make them solid because you want to be able to show when you've been hit. Like somebody's firing on you and they, and they're, they don't know where you are, so they're just taking random shots. So they tell you they're firing on 5B, C6, D7, F6, etc., etc. Okay, so when he gets done firing, then you tell him, you hit my battleship on D7. So on his sheet, with you, where he has your name, he would go to D7 and he would put a B, so he would know he had hit your battleship. Okay, when you fire on somebody else, it's easy to lose track of how many shots you take. So generally what, what you recommend is as you fire, just put a 1. The first time you fire, put a 1 and tell them I'm firing on B3 and I'm firing on D4 and I'm firing on F5 and I'm firing on G7 and H8 
And then you can kind of count one, two, three, four, five. So you've got two more shots left. I'm going to fire on H2 and I2. Okay, so then you can just look and you say, okay, I've fired seven times. Okay, the next time you fire on somebody, you start with a two. And you, and you tell them where you're firing. And that way you're keeping track of your shots. Now, if there's more than one player, you also record where they fire. You don't need to count their shots. Each person should be responsible for their own number of shots, but you do need to mark where they fired on you and also on the other player. If there's more than two players, then you have to record every shot that they fired at you and the other person. And also if they hit somebody. So you so, they, so if he tells you, well, I've been hit on this, you hit me on uh, F5 on a cruiser, then you would change that mark you know, or you just put a C next to it so you know what it is. It can sometimes get confusing between B5 and C5 and D5. People don't always hear, especially if there's lots of people playing. So sometimes you would use these alphanumeric symbols. Like instead of saying B5, you could say I'm firing on you on Bravo 5, firing on you on Delta 5. Just makes for a little less confusion. You try it out and see what happens. Once you've got your paper and everything set up, uh, every player should get like a book or a clipboard to, so they can uh, kind of hide their work as they're, as they're going. I hope I've covered everything. Uh, if not, uh, ask me some questions in the comment section.